Hi, this is Dr. Marksfeld with Think Weight Loss Today. In this video, I want to answer the question of how should I eat to lose weight based on my blood type. Now, there's three main blood types that we look at. The, the first one being type O, which is considered the oldest blood type. And typically what we know about that blood type is that they are, in theory, going to respond more to the paleo-style lifestyle or diet, which basically would mean eating more of a protein-based diet and high-fat diet. Now, the second most common and oldest blood type is type A, which is, follows more of the agrarian meals. Um, and what that basically means is that these types of individuals who are primarily from Northern Europe are more responsive and can tolerate more of a grain-based diet. And then the final group, which is type B, would be more of the Asiatic groups. Um, and again, based on their nomadic past and history, tend to be more responsive to a low-fat and dairy type of diet. Now, it's important to understand that in theory, uh, this is how it works, but we, you know, there's no evidence or research to date that actually validates these theories. So the key factor in understanding weight loss, and the real question you should be asking yourself is, what am I doing in my diet to create this, what I call inflammatory process, and as a base of that inflammatory process, how am I becoming hormone resistant? And that's really important to understand that essentially the best and only way to really lose weight is to identify how to downregulate inflammation in your body, primarily a, on a cellular level, uh, and then secondarily to become more sensitive to these hormones that your body is producing in order for you to actually lose weight. So that's how you should be thinking about it. Hopefully that gives you a little bit further insight into these questions about, you know, how should I be eating based on my blood type? Again, the theory is uh, based on what I shared in the beginning of the video, but there's absolutely no evidence to date that I've seen that has actually validated that. And when we actually go after root cause and downregulate inflammation and make you, again, hormone sensitive, that's when you can see some amazing changes in your weight loss. Hopefully you learned something here and I uh, look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.